All right, hello, and uh, welcome back to a new episode. I was gonna make a small joke about this, but this is kind of serious, to be honest. So if you're not aware of what happened last year, it, to be precisely in 2020, 27 of March, unfortunately, I got banned by Cheat Blocker. If you're not aware, there was a huge, massive ban wave by Cheat Blocker. Now, during that time, I tried my best to get them banned by sending tickets, emails, everything you can think of without success until Gameforge released a statement that cheat blocker is actually 99.9% .9 accurate and there is no way in hell it's a false positive, which turned out to be false. And now we are in 2021 and I've gotten banned, of course. Gameforge released a statement that cheat blocker was actually broken and uh, it wasn't functioning properly. It was starting to banning people at a very fast rate. People were getting banned left and right like it was nothing. So anyway, I've got a ban on the 15th of April, approximately a year and a month, something like that. And now to the exciting part. If you're not aware, during 2019, Gameforge opened a temporary PvP server with massive prizes. Unfortunately, this video was supposed to come last year, but we know what happened with the ban waves. And uh, I've lost a few clips because I got mad, of course. I never thought I would get them banned. But anyway, this server was temporary. About three months or four months was opened and with huge prizes. And luckily, I've won the first place and I've got some clips to show you of the progress I've done on that server. I don't have the complete journey, unfortunately, because I've deleted some of them. So the rules on this server were pretty simple. Basically, the PvP zones were different for each level. So if you had level 30 to 45, you had to kill as many players as you can in Valley. If you were 45 to 60 in Mount Sahan, and I believe level 60 to 90, you was in Red Forest. And sometimes at different hours, you had to break shrines in the special map that was designed for the event to get more points. So basically, if you have nobody to kill, you had to go in shrines and just break them. Now, I had no expectation of actually winning on the first place. I was probably expecting to get top 15, top 20, something like that, because I've noticed a lot of people started playing and some of them actually had perfect master skills, which is crazy. But then I've noticed that less and less people started playing and those players actually gave up for some reason. And then I came up with a plan I've created a bunch of characters that were under level 30 and I put them around the valley to scout players. Most of them were at portals or when you cross the bridge or at the bestel special I believe where you farm full moon swords so players were coming there to kill the bestel and get full moon swords so I was scouting them with low level characters because if you are level 30 and you kill somebody under level 30 like level 15 or something you get no points basically. So that's how I've kind of won the first place. I was playing a lot, honestly, between 6 and 10 hours. It was something crazy, but I had to do it to win first place, of course. Yes, here is the, your weapon. Enjoy. Please note that your custom weapon will be delivered at a later date. Alright, not an issue. Broke again. And the sixth time, of course. Successful. Alright, not bad. 
I don't know, let's try the dead blow. This is the first one. I think I took me six monsters. And first one failed. Second one failed as well. Alright, let's continue. Third one failed. Damn it! Alright, again. Please don't be like my last red iron blade. That one failed. Quickly another one. Failed again. So I think I failed four. And I come again to you with another stone, of course. Who knows how many times so far. Definitely too many, honestly. But it's because it's 60 average. Oh, lovely. And the last one? Successful. Okay, okay, now we're talking. And this is the 60 average Zodiac that I picked. Of course, I choose my own name on it. You could pick any name, but I choose Cannon Joes because I don't ever want to sell this weapon. It's a very unique weapon, which it's priceless. It doesn't really have a price. It's one of a kind. I'm pretty sure I can add elements, bonuses and stones on it. Now it looks kind of vague to be fair, but once I add the elements, it's going to be looking pretty good. And what's the best part of this weapon is that you can actually add 5 extra bonuses without affecting the 60 average. So I can change the bonuses until I get something really good like 10 piercing, maybe 12 intelligence as well, without affecting the 60 average. It's a very unique weapon that I never expected to have it in my entire life to be fair. This is my childhood game and I've been through a lot to be fair. Especially through that ban as well. I'm glad that it's over with. And I can actually enjoy this weapon. So anyway, if you want to see any tests, let me know in the comment section. And I will deal with, with the Zodiac and the Poison Sword as well. Both of them are 60 average.